Ever wondered how critical maintenance is in any business or industry? You see, maintenance isn't just about fixing what's broken, it's about preventing the break in the first place. Imagine a world where your equipment never fails, where your productivity never dips due to an unexpected breakdown. Sounds like a dream? Well, it's not. It's the reality crafted by the practice of total preventive maintenance. When we neglect regular maintenance, we're not just risking a machine breakdown, we're gambling with our business's efficiency, its reputation, and ultimately, its bottom line. The potential losses can be staggering, both in terms of time and money. But here's the good news. TPM is our secret weapon against these potential pitfalls. It's a proactive approach that focuses on regular inspections, repairs, and replacements, preventing breakdowns and improving efficiency. At the heart of total preventive maintenance are its core elements. Let's unravel these elements and understand how they coalesce to prevent breakdowns and enhance efficiency. First off, we have proactive and preventative measures. These aren't just about fixing what's broken. Instead, they're about regular inspections, repairs, and replacements to ensure equipment runs smoothly and consistently. Next, we consider the active role of operators in maintenance. It's essential to understand that maintenance isn't just a task left for a specialized team. In total preventive maintenance, everyone plays a part. Operators are not only responsible for operating machinery, but also for its upkeep, creating a sense of ownership and accountability. Finally, we delve into the different types of preventive maintenance. Let's dive right in. Firstly, we have periodic maintenance. This is pretty straightforward. It's about performing routine checks and service on your equipment at regular intervals, regardless of how it's performing. Think of it as your car's regular oil change. Next up, meter-based maintenance. This type is based on the equipment's usage, like the number of hours it's been running or the distance it's traveled. It's kind of like taking your car in for a checkup after it's clocked a certain amount of miles. Thirdly, we have predictive maintenance. Now this is where things get a bit techy. It involves using data analysis and condition monitoring tools to predict when a piece of equipment might fail. So you can fix issues before they become a problem. Lastly, there's prescriptive maintenance. This is the most advanced form. It not only predicts failures, but also recommends the best course of action to prevent them using complex algorithms and machine learning. Each type of preventive maintenance plays a critical role in TPM, ensuring equipment is always in prime condition. The strength of total preventive maintenance rests on its seven pillars. Each pillar is a crucial component that contributes to the overall efficiency and longevity of your equipment. Firstly, we have autonomous maintenance, where operators take responsibility for their equipment, ensuring it's well-maintained and functioning correctly. Second is focused improvement, which involves identifying and improving areas that need attention systematically and proactively. Thirdly, we have process quality management. This pillar aims to ensure quality by managing process variables that could lead to defects. The following pillars include planned maintenance, early equipment management, education and training, and safety, health, and environment. Each pillar, when practiced religiously, forms a solid foundation for effective maintenance. Now, let's talk about implementing total preventive maintenance in your business. The first step is to take inventory of your assets. Know what you have, where it's located, and its current state of repair. Next, assign responsibility for each piece of equipment to someone on your team. They'll be in charge of scheduling and ensuring maintenance is carried out. Then, plan preventive maintenance schedules and conduct training to ensure everyone understands their role. The final step is to continuously improve processes, making your TPM program a living, evolving entity that adapts to your business's needs. Implementing TPM in your business is a strategic decision that can save you from costly downtimes and inefficiencies. Now that you've learned about total preventive maintenance, what's next? It's time to take action. Don't just sit with this wealth of knowledge. Apply it to your business or industry. Use these principles to prevent breakdowns, improve efficiency, and increase the lifespan of your equipment. And remember, this is just the beginning. Our channel is a goldmine of information on a wide variety of topics. So, why not dive deeper? Hit that like button and subscribe to our channel for more informative videos. Thank you for watching.